share video i will share with you what is what if analysis so what if analysis usually used or practiced using the ms excel uh, you can do it in other software but uh, in ms excel it's quite easier to use easy to use right okay so first of all we need to know what is what if analysis so definition what if analysis is a decision making tools used by businesses to evaluate the potential outcomes once again the evaluate the potential outcome of different scenarios by changing variables in a model to see how those changes impact the result so okay here we have some keywords number one we can change the variable right number two by changing some variables we can take enhanced decision making uh, when we when we teach about system development there is an option usually i say to my students that you will have a problem i mean a single problem but you will have lots of solution so from the lots of solution you need to choose or pick up the best solution for your business so what if analysis can help us to make enhanced decision making okay so next how many types of what if analysis usually we use there are three types of what if analysis number one scenario analysis number two goal seek analysis and number three data tables so where actually we can find these options if we use microsoft excel under the tab data you will find the option what if analysis and you will see the three options these three options scenario analysis goal seek and data tables okay so next why this what if analysis is very important for our businesses actually it's important for several reasons first of all for better decision making second we can manage the risk management i mean using the what if analysis we can predict something forecast something and maybe take some policy to reduce risk so it will be used in risk management also on the other hand strategic planning for example maybe some um, using the scenario analysis you will have lots of solution so how you can pick the best solution choose the best solution how you can and um, you can implement so this scenario analysis will help you to make the strategic planning right and in some cases resource optimization i mean resource allocation or blah blah, blah. okay so it's all about the what if analysis basic is very simple actually right uh, that's it but uh, it's the very basic theory but without practice actually we cannot learn anything so now it's time to practice okay let's practice right so here you will find a sheet my I mean excel sheet uh, i have already wrote some uh, example here say for example first one now suppose we want to find out how many units have to be sold to reach 20,000 of revenue. Say for example, I have product, 500 products, and each product's unit price in $25. And when, will you, when I will sell this product, maybe I will consider 10% of discount. So in that case, actually, I first I need to calculate the total sell equal product into product price okay so 12500 is the total sell so i will consider some discount it means 
uh, discount, right? Uh, how many types of how, how many how many dollar I will discount? Actually, ten percent. Okay, equal total sales into ten percent. Okay, so revenue will be total sale minus the discount price. So in this way, as I have five hundred products. Each product's price is $25 and I will consider 10% of discount. After that, I can make 11,250 BDT or dollar, I mean currency, revenue. Now, the question is, if I would like to make the revenue or 20,000 of dollar, how many products I need to sold more? It means, I need to change or I need to enhance the number of product, I mean sale of product, right? So how we can do it, how many products I need to sell, just go to the data, go to the forecast, uh, what if analysis and goal seek. So here you will find three options. Number one, set sell, please delete this one. So after deleting this one, just click here. The findings value okay to value 20,000 because it's our target value by changing sale here you need to uh, put which sell actually you would like to change this one I would like to change number of product just click here see here now the revenue is 20,000 and according to this you need to sell 800 around 889 products right okay the next example is uh, for example you are working in a, a financial institute like bank right so the second example is for example someone come to you and ask the loan for three hundred thousand dollar or BDT okay so three hundred thousand you will pay this loan uh, in next 30 years and the interest rate, I mean annual interest rate is 6%. So how much or how many, uh, sorry, how much you need to pay per month? So it's a very easy way. We can use the PMT formula, right? So equal PMT, first parenthesis. First, please see here the rate, the annual interest rate, but the annual interest rate is annually, right? But we are talking about monthly that is why we need to divide it by 12 so comma np number of period so number of period it means 30 years so once again 30 years but i need to convert it in monthly so into 12 and comma after that is asking the present value so it's the amount okay so if i close the bracket and enter I need to pay uh, 1798 point something dollar or BDT, I mean currency, okay. But the question is, find out the loan amount that produces a monthly payment of $1,500. So if you take the loan 300,000, you must need to pay 1798 plus dollar each and every month but maybe your capability is to pay 1500 dollar right so how we can do it uh, for if i pay 1500 dollar monthly so for how much loan amount i am eligible right so we can use the what if analysis once again go to the data and what if analysis and then goal seek you will have three options number is one is set cell just delete it and select this one in the two value just 1500 and by changing cell the loan amount so click ok so we see here if you pay 1500 dollar per month you will eligible for 20 uh, 20, uh, 250 hundred plus loan but there is a problem here is a minus sign right so 
you need to keep in mind that the so goal sake here you will select this one to value actually we put or put it 15,000 but keep in mind when the money is going from your pocket just put a minus sign here and here by changing cell this one so it will make uh, uh, remove or mitigate your con uh, confusion right so in this way actually we can use the uh, loan amount how much loan amount i am eligible for or not if i pay 1500 dollar per month right so it's all about the goal sheet by the way here you will find to practice sheet right, practice question right say for example you would like to deposit 300 uh, 200 dollar per month uh, into an account that earns a five percent annual interest and compound it uh, monthly for 10 years so you need to calculate the future value right i mean the fb so try to do it by yourself how you can calculate the fb i mean future value same you can calculate the fb or future value right so you can do it uh, according to your understanding you can google search you can you can use the chat, chat gpt right so but try to learn how uh, here here actually we learned uh, how to calculate the emi i mean the pmt value right here you need to calculate the fb value so it's quite same similar but for your practice purpose i am just uh, I'm, I'm not just uh, going to solve this question uh, if you if you can please solve this question you can uh, put it uh, the result or the procedure in the comments box uh, it will help the other learner okay so in the next video we will learn about the scenario analysis so up to that okay allah